Now let's work on the project. We don't want to miss the deadline of the project. But first, we need to have a clear understanding of the requirements. In other words, what should be implemented and how the system should behave. Here is the overview of our development process. We are now in the requirements activity. For this project, I use a mind map to visualize the user requirements collected from the headmaster of Hogwarts School. The requirements are organized in three major components of the application. Artifact management, wizard management, and user management. Let's expand them one by one and see the detailed requirements in each component. In this simple project, I used user stories to describe requirements. A user story describes a requirement from the perspective of the end user. It has a simple format. As a blank, I want blank, so that blank. It describes the user's role or type, the goal of the user, and the rationale behind this goal. By the way, I included a link to this user stories file below this video. Let's focus on the user stories in the artifact management component. As an anonymous user, I want to find all artifacts so that I can learn the details of every artifact. As a logged in user, I want to add an artifact so that we can keep track of this new artifact in the magic world. As an anonymous user, I want to find an artifact by ID so that I can learn the details of this specific artifact. As a logged in user, I want to update an artifact so that I can make sure this artifact's information is up to date and correct. As a logged in user, I want to delete an artifact so that we are no longer tracking this artifact in the system. By the way, when a user visits our APIs without logging in, that user is called anonymous user. Some people call that a guest user. The features for such users are limited. As you can see, these user stories describe the CRUD or CRUD operations on artifacts. Wizard management and user management have similar requirements. Besides the basic CRUD, wizard management requires assigning an artifact to a wizard. In our system, one artifact can only be owned by one wizard. But a wizard can own multiple artifacts, so it is one-to-many relationship. User management requires authentication and authorization because we want to secure our API endpoints. For example, in the artifact management component, anonymous users can view artifacts, but only logged in users can add, update, and delete artifacts. In the wizard management component, all the operations require logged in users. In the user management component, only admins can perform those operations. I hope now you have a good understanding of the requirements of this project.